Hello everybody, uh, this is the first video in a new series that I'm making about MATLAB. Um, this is actually one thing that uh, I was asked to do many times before after um, my uh, Excel course. Uh, and this is a course I'm teaching in Cairo University to third year students and I found it's useful for them to make uh, online videos so they can revise whatever was taught in class and it will be helpful for anybody else who would like to learn about MATLAB. Uh, so these are the notes that we are going to be following while going through the course. I'll, I'll uh, upload them uh, or, or put a link in the video description to, so that anybody is interested might use it. Uh, of course it's going to be uh, targeting uh, chemical engineers uh, in the first place. Uh, I'm gonna start from the very very scratch uh, so if you don't know anything about MATLAB this is the right place to start with. Uh, we will start about like introducing the software, the basic stuff about the software and then one by one, 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 by one we will go uh, deeper in the software. So by the end of this course you should be um, very familiar uh, with MATLAB. Uh, you can solve differential equations, you can solve uh, uh, equations by trial and error um, and the reason we teach MATLAB to students is that uh, they, they uh, learn how to use Excel uh, in the first two uh, years and the third year as well um, and and in the third year you will find that Microsoft Excel is, is a very useful software but it has a lot of a lot of limitations um, and it's very useful for us to understand what are the limitations of Excel uh, and I think we talked about uh, talk, uh, talked about some of these before um, and uh, it's, it's useful as well to know what is the alternative so one of the very very good alternatives is MATLAB and that's why we are dealing with it now um, so uh, you, you will see now that MATLAB is not as user-friendly as Microsoft Excel but it's way way more powerful it can do everything that Microsoft Excel can do uh, but it uh, it needs the user to know how to do this uh, of course Microsoft Excel it might be easier for some stuff uh, that do not require very powerful software like MATLAB but uh, it's it's useful to know uh, the advantages and disadvantages so if, if we start with the notes we will see that it covers first the introduction of course uh, and then the uh, matrix algebra so so MATLAB is called MATLAB because it's um, MAT is for matrices so so we will see that it depends on a lot of things uh, in matrices um, <clears throat> so we'll see how to uh, get used to the software and then how the calculations are done the matrix algebra we, we we covered this part in Microsoft Excel before how to do matrix multiplication division and then get a solution of system of linear algebraic equations we did this before uh, and then we'll see how we can do polynomial operations we, we never did this in, in, in Excel um, one very cool thing about MATLAB is data plotting and fitting we will go through this in very deep details um, and, and we'll go through other stuff um, like the solution of non-linear linear differential equations we'll see the conditional uh, statements like if conditions and stuff like that and then the for and while loops uh, which are stuff that are not in, in Excel uh, unfortunately uh, and they're very 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 powerful tools in MATLAB uh, and then we'll end with differential equations of course we, we, there are other stuff that I'll be adding later but this is the main framework uh, that we will be uh, following so uh, in the beginning once you you open the software this is the the window that you will see um, there are some sub windows in the main window uh, so so the the version that I'm using is uh, 2017 a um, there are many many versions of MATLAB uh, and and usually the differences are very sophisticated uh, so for beginners like we are then it's, it's not gonna be a big difference so you can apply what we're doing now on any version um, before that or after that uh, so the first thing that you'll see that there is no like the fancy stuff that are there in Excel uh, you will have some uh, ribbons here with very very little buttons um, and then the plots that are not a lot of stuff in the plots and then there are the apps which is not something that you will be very familiar with 
Um, so the the main or the, the the first thing that you need to know is that it uh, it's based on coding. So you need to know how to write your command. Uh, it's not as Microsoft Excel. You just write equations and then you click on some buttons and then it takes care of everything. We can do this in this in the newer versions. There are some stuff like curve fitting and like uh, plotting. Uh, we have this user-friendly interface, but in general, uh, you have to write codes. Uh, and this is the first thing. So you have here, this is the command window. This is the window where you write your code. And then there is the workspace, which is where the outputs will appear. So all the outputs that you'll have will show up here. You know what are these outputs. There is the history, which is uh, storing all what you did uh, for a long time, uh, if you don't delete what you did before of course um, and then you have here the current folder so this is a folder in the software or in, on your computer that the, the software is gonna be searching for files in um, you will see later that you might make a, a program and then save it here somewhere on the computer and then recall it in the command window so the command window uh, the order written in the command window will execute by searching for the file in this folder that you open here, so you can you can change it from here. Uh, the default is some uh, uh, I don't know where it is, but it is uh, uh, it's in the program files, and then in the MATLAB folder you'll find this this file. I, I personally do not like that. I don't like to mess up with the uh, program files uh, folders, so I I would put all my files in in any other uh, folder that. I know that I keep my files in. So let's get started. I have, let's say, a variable that's called m, um, and m equals 10. So once you write it, it tells you that it now knows that m equals 10. And then it's saved here in the workspace. It tells you, OK, I have now m equals 10. It's a piece of information that is uh, now defined. Uh, and then let's say n equals 15 or 14. Um, then it knows that n equals 14 uh, and you'll see here, here it says that it's one by one the size um, and this is weird but this is because as we said before it is a matrix based software it converts anything into matrices so it for for the software it sees this number as a one by one matrix which is a scalar value actually um, uh, and then you can you can define as many variables as you want. You can calculate uh, any new variable from these old variables. The, let's say h equal m plus n. Uh, it's 24. Um, one thing that might be kind of tedious or, or uh, frustrating here that you will write the code or, or the the variable and you know that it's 10 and you don't need to. You, you don't need MATLAB to tell you that it is 10 because you already know that. So uh, let's define another variable g equals 15. So to prevent it from showing this message, you can put a semicolon. So it now knows that g equals 15 and it didn't write that beneath it, beneath the order that you, you wrote. Um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that the software is a case sensitive software. So let's say that I want to multiply or calculate s which is um, m plus 2 then it will give you an error actually because this m is not that m that we defined before this is an uppercase m and this is a lowercase m they must be the same and in the newer versions there is a very cool thing that MATLAB does is that it gives you a suggestion of what you were trying to do uh, so it tells you do you mean or did you mean that it is m the uppercase m plus 2 and then I say yes and it is now 12 we're now done we need to clean up what we did so there are two very useful commands it's CLC it clears the command window clear command window and then everything is done but you have what you have in the workspace still there so to delete this you press clear let's say I, I want to repeat some of my previous um, uh, operations so you can just double click on the that thing on the history and then it shows up um, if, if you install MATLAB, by, by the way, I forgot to say that, but if you install MATLAB and then you didn't find the layout looks like this, then don't worry, you you, you can take care of this easily. Um, in this layout uh, button, you can remove or add whatever thing you want. You can uh, remove the, the history. Um, you can make it in the... This is the default, actually, the default... Uh, 
look of the software you can make it as two columns you can make it as uh, all but command window you can make it command window only it's totally up to you I personally like the default uh, way and then to have the history docked here of course you can you can play with it now you can change the places of stuff so um, this is how you can manipulate the layout the the operations that you do with MATLAB are, are exactly the same you did with Excel. This is addition, this is subtraction, this is multiplication, division, the power, and the brackets. Um, but keep in mind that these are the circular brackets because the square brackets will be used for defining matrices. So it's 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 not understood as as brackets. It's understood as matrix. Um, so um, this is pretty much everything I want to say now. So I'll stop now and continue the next video. See you then.